April. Hi viewers, uh, today's session I'm going to cover uh, base, basic administration activities on the ActiveMQ. So ActiveMQ uh, 7 plus version, uh, that's what the, uh, today's session. Uh, well, introduction is uh, so how to download, how to create the brokers and how to create the queues, how to send the messages. So those three activities. Uh, uh, well, uh, we want to be download this ActiveMQ uh, messaging system. So, well, you can go with the Red Hat, or we can download the Apache ActiveMQ. So, Apache version. So, this is purely open source, and this is a uh, you know, commercial product. So, current version is 7.4 from the Red Hat, and uh, similarly, uh, this is will be 2.10 bundle, and you can download both. Of course, I downloaded the both, and uh, I kept it one of the Linux machine, and uh, so one of the folder is OPT. So we can use any uh, from the uh, Apache or uh, Red Hat. So this is a Red Hat bundle and this is the uh, Apache bundle. So well, I'm going to show you with this uh, Apache bundle. First, I'm going to unzip this Apache Artemis bundle. So well done. Uh, make sure uh, when you're trying to start this, uh, you need the basic prerequisite in the Java. Make sure you need a Java with uh, better 1.8 higher version. Well. So this is a software bundle will help you to create the brokers. The broker is actually the server uh, which is contains the queues and the topics and all the configurations. So I'll go to the bin directory. So using this uh, script Artemis, you can create your broker. So Artemis, you can take the help. So well, you can create a uh, lot mean So you can create. So here, what I do is I can create the broker under under OPT broker one. <coughs> So this is the folder is the broker one. So inside that it is going to create the configurations and everything which is required to run a broker and uh, create the queues and topics other stuff. So well while creating it is going to ask you some username and password and this username and password uh, for to log in into your broker has been console. So this will be unique for each broker. So I am creating a broker under the OPT. So this username and password only for this broker one. Well, JBoss CMQ. So username and password and this is the anonymous user so this will be saved in the programming part so who can access and not access so well the the broker is created under opt so here so this is the broker one okay uh, well let me create the one more broker similarly add to me add to me create opt broker two. so i'm creating one more broker again so again for this is a different username and password like uh, uh, admin so anonymous user access or not that's it i just created two brokers right now so under opt so let's see that so this is the one so broker one and the broker two so if i go to the broker one so this is the configuration files where bin will help you to start and stop your broker data the folder where which is actually store your queues uh, and all the information the data which you send the messages everything will store over here so, well etc is the one major configuration file for this broker and here we have a major configuration file is the broker.xml file so if i open this broker.xml file there are a lot of lines in this almost if you see are 235 lines right. so here as part of this uh, basic uh, the first session so i'm going to show you something about this acceptors so this acceptors will help you to connect your code java code into this broker well we have any messages in this broker uh, to connect to that broker message uh, to send a uh, message into that queue well you need to use uh, this is the ip and port 61616 is the default on uh, every supported protocol for this is the one so if you want to use another protocol like uh, mqp so this is the one protocol so this is the default well it's the default uh, configurations we are going to use for this uh, today's session well so this is the 61616 make sure when you're trying to start this broker this 61616 should be open out of the box to connect the code into you this broker so make sure i need to enable this port add port so because i'm trying to create the queue in this broker and i'm trying to send some messages make sure that this port should be open out of the box I just open the port and if you see the list so 61616 is uh, opened out of the box so well so uh, now I can able to connect to this broker if I start okay that's good and what else 
and uh, here by default it has come up with uh, two queues a dl queue and expiry queue so well i want to create a one more make then you can copy this uh, information so well we will see that and this is a broker.xml file major uh, configuration file to create the queues topics cluster anything so this is a major one and well what else uh, this is the properties file well when you create any users the the user will come and sit in this file so when we created a jboss amq is the user in the beginning i'll create with this broker so the user is here well uh, in this rtmq uh, roles by default all the when you create any user by default is belongs to amq is the role amq is the role so the user which you created is assigned to this role so well if you see this broker.xml file so because when you're trying to connect to this broker queue a topic so you need an authentication so the user and password should be belongs to a and role by default this is by default configurations so who can send a messages uh, to this broker queue uh, that guy should be uh, belongs to the role of a and so you created a user by default it is going to assign to a and uh, who can consume again so when to consume again you need to have a u authentication and that belongs to MQ. so you can differentiate it all this stuff you can modify everything you can do it so this is a security so 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 we'll come back and we will see change this stuff so well <coughs> so that's the configuration file the roles and the users well <coughs> so artemis uh, the profile is the one where so you can pass from here the jvm parameters and your broker location make sure when you create the broker okay so you cannot just like that copy paste the broker folder into somewhere else and you can want to make a replication of that make sure you need to change over here or else it will re no, refer the world broker so this is the, my instance the location the other broker one and my data where it is going to st store and my configuration file make sure you know make this copy get another copy these things you need to be changed and well this is the java parameters you you know, if you want to configure I mean want maximum size you need to be con change over here <coughs> this is applicable for this broker only well uh, login dot properties will help you to change the logo modes that's it so bootstrap dot xml file is the one where this will help you uh, to change your Think I open the wrong file. Boost. Well, this is uh, for the admin console. So, so well to connect to the broker queue by default is the six one six one six on any port in the actual queue. Where here by default is eight one six one is for the admin console. So to log in into the admin console to view the messages everything. So I'm gonna change this IP. And eight one six one when you start this, make sure this is also be opened out of the box. This. So I want to do is. 8161 is admin console port of this broker so i will reload this and okay. so make sure this is the port two necessary ports so if you see this 8161 is open and 61616 is open two is uh, necessary for this uh, first session so well so let me start the broker so go to the bin directory artemis and run so this is the foreground so artemis if you use the script well if you use this it will going to be in the back end so let me start first foreground so artemis is a script and i can give that run. so this is the same uh, process when you go with the red hat bundle so the same everything is remains no change so well this is the one the protocol <coughs> so 61616 is listening and this is the other uh, acceptors so accepts acceptors is one to connect to the broker and uh, we have a connectors too that we will see at the next session when we have a cluster active MQ clustering port so well this is my 8161 admin console port so if you log in with the first attempt admin console so how it look like so <coughs> okay make sure this should be my IP address 56 okay so might some problem over here so we created jboss amq this is we created when uh, a broker creation time well the first attempt uh, you can see like this uh, this is the admin console the restriction is uh, configured in one of the configuration files so I forgot to show you that too so if you see here okay i'm gonna stop this again with disturb because i there is a restriction so who can from where 
to access this admin console uh, if you go to the etc again in the broker one we have a this is the configuration file well by default it is restricted so who can allow this admin console to access you can make this or disable completely access anywhere or we can restrict the ip base so i must comment of this completely that line so i am going in rtms and run so so i know anyone can access from any part so that's the meaning of it okay let's go it is started so okay okay it is saved it well now of course there is no error that so that's what the configuration that well so we have acceptors we have to not have any connectors right now ex acceptors only so to connect to the broker so we'll create the connectors when it uh, comes to the cluster part so well we click on the queues by default it is with the two queues dlq and expire queue that's what it is configured inside the broker configuration file so again i'm going to stop this so let me create the queues so this should be under etc again the major configuration file is the broker well go to at the end you can see by default it is the dlq and expiry queue so what i do is i will take this copy uh, so here we have a address and the queue name and any cast any cast will be like you know uh, the queues and topics will be differentiated over there so any cast and multi cast okay so well we will see that right now it's only for the queues Hello, what are you? Then this is my queue name. Well, when I send it to the program, I need to use this queue. So, so this is the queue which I created. So this queue, when you see here, by default, address. So this address by default, it's a symbol is a non voice call symbol. So that means to say, uh, to this hello world queue, if you send any messages, okay, so it will go come and store in this hello world queue. and this address completely is applicable for this queue as well so that mean to say if you send any message to this well uh, now if you am unable to consume or any go anything goes wrong here so all this you see here so if it is dead it will go to dl queue and if it is expire it is go for expiry queue so this complete copy you now you can take it as a separate again one more copy for this applicable for only for this queue. you have a hundreds of queues and Now, if you want to differentiate it for complete leaf, so again we will see that. So this can be a separate it. You can separate it. And this is again there are a lot of default configurations, and we will see that. So just I just created only hello world queue, just only one queue. So I just save this. So let's come back to this bin directory, and this time I will start in the back end and start. That's it. this is the back end uh, starting. So well, Java. If I see this, this process is starting. So this is the backend start. So well, now if I see that, that you should come and see here. Let me see it. So login again. So hello world queue. Right now, so this is it will show you the messages is at the end uh, start. If I see here, this is the message right now. There is nothing, and if you see this uh, piece of code over here. so well <coughs> so i'm going to simple piece of code well where is my broker located this is my ip address and 616 is important this is the default you should open out of the box firewall to connect your code to the broker and this is my username which is created while creating the broker this is the username i i entered and the password well this is the queue and to connect it. this is the only the queue which i created so remain everything is as normal and uh, this is a simple message uh, which is sent so well if i execute this uh, program to send a message so well i'm executing from the command line so this is a jar file active mq all version and while running this so that's it so if you go to this admin console and refresh here you can see one message so right now i do not have any listeners okay so mdb listeners we seen in the jboss session the similar way so we will going to make one jbo server and we will deploy the listener and we will listen remotely from this broker so that's an exception uh, so that's it the messages came and sit in this queue so if you see this is a data folder the message is inside the data folder so the if you delete any data folder again the message will go on 
okay so the message will come and sit in the data folder of this configuration if you see over here so <coughs> broker one so here is the data folder okay so here is a journal pages and bindings and we will see that so well it is stored over here by default is a 10 mb again this is all configurations so nothing to be worried right now so that's all about the today's session to download create the brokers and uh, you know to connect uh, the brokers to the queues so two imports are important 61616 and 8161 is the default one so that's all about this today's session uh, coming session we will see more configurations and the clusters thank you for watching